हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नॉलेज वाइट्स फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई वांट टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी फॉली सेल्फ रिटेनिंग बैलून कैथेटर यू कैन सी द इमेज हियर दिस इमेज शोस फॉलीज कैथेटर आई वांट टू गिव अ बिट इंट्रोडक्शन फॉलीज कैथेटर आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स इट कैन बी टू वेज फॉलीज कैथेटर और इट कैन बी थ्री वेज फॉलीज कैथेटर हेयर इन दिस इमेज दिस इज द टू वेज फॉलीज कैथेटर एंड दिस इज द थ्री वेज फॉलीज कैथेटर This is a two-way Foley's catheter. You can see there is one channel, which is the small channel. This small channel is used to inflate the balloon. You can see in this Foley's catheter, in this image, that the end is not inflated. But in this image, you can see that the end is inflated. We have to inject the saline water through this small channel to inflate the balloon. And this is the main channel. This main channel. This main channel is used to drain the urine. Now you can see this is the three-way Foley's catheter. The use of this small channel and the main channel is same as the two-way Foley's catheter. But you can see there is one another channel, that is the third channel. This third channel is used for the irrigation of urinary bladder. This Foley's catheter is made up of latex. Why latex is used? It is because we have to use this Foley's catheter for prolonged purposes, and for if we are using this catheter for prolonged purposes, then it may so happen that the it it can make the environment of the urethra or the urinary bladder irritable, or there can be the formation of the crust. But because of this latex, there is less chances for the for for irritation. and also there will be less chance for the formation of the crust that's why latex is used in the foley's catheter now this the capacity of the balloon of the foley's catheter is about 5 to 50 ml and for self retaining that the foley's catheter does not get comes out out by itself Firstly, one thing more I want to discuss that how we have to put this Foley's catheter. We apply the jelly, we put the jelly into the urethra, and then we pass this Foley's catheter. When the Foley's catheter has reached the maximum distance, means we have we got the idea that this Foley's catheter has entered into the entered into the urinary bladder. Then we inflate the balloon. and so that this foley's catheter does not get outside by itself but when we have to remove this foley's catheter then we have to deflate the balloon to get this foley get foley's catheter outside the urinary urinary bladder and for self retaining that this foley's catheter does not come out by itself then we have to fit 10 ml saline water Foley's catheter is also used in hemostatic compression effect, and for hemostatic compression effect, thirty to fifty mL of saline water is injected. The Foley's catheter comes in different sizes, and the sizes are given in French unit. we can convert this french unit into millimeter just by dividing french unit by 3 suppose it is written as 18 french then the diameter of the foley's catheter will be 18 by 3 that is 6 millimeter diameter there are various sizes of foley's catheter various sizes uh the sizes of pediatric patients are the sizes for pediatric patients are 4 french 6 french 8 french 10 french and for adult patients it will be 12 french 14 french 16 french and 18 french most common size used for male used for male is 16 french and for female most common size used is 14 french now i want to discuss the uses of this foley's catheter it is used to relieve urinary retention relieve 
urinary retention it is also used to measure urinary output measure urinary output it is used to administer intravesical chemotherapy the three ways foley's catheter is used for irrigation of urinary bladder after trp by the urologist so these was all about the foley's self retaining balloon catheter